Hey everybody, I'm Kate with Crate Insider and I am here today with Buck Parker from Daytona One. And Buck, Buck, you have finally answered the the big thing that we've been wanting forever, which is a crate racing oil. Well, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you know, it's been, a, it's what, three, four years we've been talking about doing this and working on it. So, you know, the, it was a lot of work, but, but we we're really excited about what we just, we're putting out today. Excellent. And you have a series of three oils right now, and, and I would love for you to walk us through these and tell us about the different applications, where we're going to use them, do we need all three, or which ones are we going to use? So just, just walk us through from step one, you get a brand new engine, t tell us what you're going to do first. Well, for, uh, well what do you, first thing you do with a brand new engine is break it in. So you have to be careful about your cams, your bearings, all, everything, you know, when you're breaking in, you got to break in, you got to seat the rings and all your seals properly. So when you do, we've designed the break in oil for a crate motor that will pump up the valves and, and the, the, the hydraulic valves, you know, properly and keep them. And, and it's so important to be able to adjust those valves where, the, where they seat properly as well. And, and if your valves don't pump up and stay pumped up like they should, you, you'll have an issue and, and it won't break in properly. But anyway, what you want this, this, this has a full zinc package in it, it actually has a, a tri-zinc package. So it won't allow your cam, it, it, it will wear in properly, but it won't wear out that makes sense. Uh, you need it to wear in properly but it won't wear out and the zinc will stop that from, from any, any major wear happening. Now with most braking oils it's kind of a run and dump situation where it's like you know run so many laps or so much time or you know, maybe there's different procedures so tell us how we're going to use your break-in you, you call it break-in and racing oil so tell right. us a little bit more about that. Well most people just run one for a short while and drop it out and throw the oil away. What we recommend is that you run this on the dyno, then take it to the track and run a couple, three races with it, at, at, or, or one or two, at least two, and then drop the oil pan, or not the oil pan, but the oil filter off, fill it back up with oil, and then run another couple of races. Then you, your engine is seated properly. After that, you go to our step two oil. Great, so tell us. What is step two after our engine is broken in, it's broken in properly, what do we want to do next? Okay, depending on, we own the PTRO system. We have a patent pending on the PTR. That's purpose tuned racing oil. We designed the oil for this application, for this crate motor. All right, so you gotta, all right, some engines run cool, some engines run, and when I say cool, around 200 degree oil temperature. I'm, I'm, I was so surprised when I found that out because you wouldn't think that a race engine would run 200 degrees on oil temperature. Some of them run around 250, 230, and then some of them get up to 300 degrees. So you need two separate products. Now, if you if 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 you are racing a, a some an engine that goes about 250 down, you know, to to 180 to 250 degrees, we recommend our 1540 which is a semi-synthetic, which is a great engine oil. And it, but when, once you reach over that 250 range, we recommend, now but let me tell you about the 1540. This has a tri-zinc package in it, as well as the XL1 package already built in. So you don't have to buy our engine treatment. What we find when you change out from the, the braking oil to this oil, you normally gain about one to 2% horsepower and torque. You know, and if it's a crate motor, 400 horsepower, that's somewhere around five or six horsepower. You know, and the and 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 you've got a tremendous package, not only to protect your motor, just but you have a little go fast kit in here too. Well, I love that because you know, of course, the XL1 engine treatment is a product we've been selling for years, and with that one to two percent gain and the additional protection, and so you know, I definitely would refer you. Um, definitely check out the XL1 engine treatment. We've got videos and the products on our website, but you know, but I love that you've put in the zinc package as well. So it really is the best of both worlds. Yeah, no, the wait a minute, save the best for last. Awesome. The, the best for last. We're really proud of our 5W40. This is a full synthetic premium synthetic so if it gives you an idea of the, the the base stock that we use and the additive packages that we use for all of our stuff but the, the base stock for this particular oil is a group four base stock and to put it in perspective 
Mobile One's a Group Three based stock, and Mobile One's a great oil. Mm -hmm. All right, ours is is a, a Group Four based stock, which is, puts it up here just a little bit higher, and it it handles heat better, it handles moisture better. It 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 and, and with our additive packages, which we do have the zinc package in here as well, the tri zinc package and the XL One, plus. You can. This oil is is proven and tested. I can tell you what this oil does from a shear rating at 303 degrees. I can tell you what happens at the viscosity at 303 degrees. So if you're one of those guys that that ha have to look away from the oil temperature gauge because you're afraid it's you know you see that 300 degrees, this is the oil you need. You know, I want to circle back. There's one question that you or there's one point that you made, and you said something about moisture protection. So. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, moisture, every engine that you crank up, say say you crank it up for some reason and move it around your shop, you know, and, and or you crank it up to put it into the trailer. Well, you, you just created a moisture situation, all right? It's just got hot enough to, to, to make that engine sweat on the inside. And, and so people don't think about those things, but you have to when you're building these. Yeah. You know, so you have to have that protection level. And then sometimes if they're sitting in, in a moist building or, you know, they, they can actually get moisture on the inside of that engine and, and you can cause, it could cause you problems. So uh, you have to take all that into consideration. Kind of like condensation, and I know that's something that can definitely happen like within brake, brake lines, you know, for, for instance, oh, yeah. in brake oil, but, or, um, brake fluid, but uh, you know, and it, there's so many areas of the country that have high humidity right. and that condensation. So I, it's something that has just never really been brought to my attention. It makes so much sense. Well, one thing, Kate, you know, the, you know, you, you hear the stories about, well, I bought this car from this little old lady that only drove to church on Sunday. That could be one of the worst things in the world that happened. Because if she didn't drive but a mile and then she crank it and drove it back, she didn't get it hot enough to, to, to even get that oil hot enough to, to get rid of that moisture that's in it. So it'll, it'll continue to just build and build. So that little old lady's car might not be as good as you think. Interesting. Wow, you never know. I mean, you just never know what's going to happen in an interview and just those little things. And, you know, I am so excited about these oils. You know, we've, we've been waiting for this and working together in this for a long time. This is, it, we're very proud of these products. I, I can just tell you. And, and, and everyone that's used them is, is just, just give us rave reviews. And so, um, you know, just thank you. Thank you for taking care of it and helping to sell these and showing us the, if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't have made this oil. <laughs> pushing me. Thank you. So, that's the truth, too. Well, I will lean on an elevator button, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yes, she will. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you so much. And and I say that thank you and thank you, I mean, seriously, on behalf of, of all of the racers that are going to benefit from this, because we're always looking to get just a little bit better and a little bit better. Um, and you guys, seriously, check this out. Best thing we've come out with in a long time. Uh, thank you. And this is some great information out here. And we have all three. So we've got the break in oil. We have the semi-synthetic, now a full synthetic yeah. all the way through. And, you know, I'm just going to say thank you for the for the excellent price points, too. Yeah. I think we're at some very fair price points with every single one of these oils. Well, we, we try to. We, we realize how tough it is to be a racer. Mm -hmm. And, and, and we want every racer out there to have every chance that they can. So we feel we've done a pretty good job with these. We've done a great job with the oil. Hopefully that, that they, they do it for you what they've done for other people. And, and we're proud. And stay tuned. We have one more coming. Oh, my goodness. And I've seen these on the dyno, too, by the way. So I know what I'm, I know what I'm looking at. So thank you so much, Buck. Thank you guys for watching. And definitely, you know, pick out the right oil that's right for you. And you can find these all at CrateInsider.com. And I'll see you guys in another video.